looks like two stallions. Let's watch them. Let's see what they get up to. I've yet to put a real fight on camera. Yeah, it looks like stallions just from their stockiness. Mm. Watch them, they can rear up quite high and chop with those front legs, so you want to be careful. Look how beautiful they are. They all look like they've been washed clean. There we go, and this is the part where stallions can be quite savage, and they'll often drop to their knees, and you'll see them constantly trying to go in between their hind legs. I'll give you one guess what they're going for. I've never seen it happen before, but I've heard some horrific stories of, uh, of stallions fighting and, and trying to kill one another. You can also hear them. Oh, wow. See how they keep sitting down to protect their nether regions? This is quite exciting. Now, obviously, these two boys are challenging one another for this area, for the females. It's, looks like it's getting more and more heated. They're actually very quick on their feet. Look at them go. Listen to that sound. That's such a clever technique, just to sit right back down. And you're not... Oh! Double barrel to the chin. They're so tough, though, so even something like that wouldn't really hurt a zebra. But they can kick and, and cause huge lacerations. Let's see, maybe it's just a, a bit of sparring. Doesn't seem to be getting too serious just yet. Yeah, perhaps they're just sparring. Stanley, so they play fighting. And definitely, I think that's what's happening here. That was so cool. That was really great to see. Actually, this might look like there's a lot more stallions around. There's a couple of mares in between. But remember, zebras do form bachelor herds too where you'll just get a group of stallions and then you can imagine the testosterone would be high. And I think, like we see elephants pushing and shoving one another, we see lots of different animals, and sparring and pile I definitely think it helps get rid of those high testosterone levels and just sort of bring everybody back down to size again. There's lots of Thompson's gazelle, or well, not lots of Thompson's gazelle, there's just a couple of them scattered in between. I wonder if that little one we saw yesterday made it through the night. It actually got very, very cold. So we know that in South Africa, the young animals are susceptible to cold shock. And I'm sure it would be similar up here. It was the coldest I've ever been. Obviously, obviously drenched to the bone and that wind was gusting the temperature. I didn't even know what the temperature was last night, but it was cold. It most certainly was not pleasant. Now, I hope you all got some good screenshots of those zebras sparring. So remember to hashtag Safari Life so that we can all see them and have a look at them. That was a very nice sighting. I can't remember when I last had to, two stallions playing about like that, but we won't we won't digress too much from our original sort of plan of heading towards the jackal thing. We've been promising for two drives now. If I don't deliver today, I'm going to be disappointed in myself. And I think David's probably going to pop me over the top of the head too. He likes those jackal. And even the ladies in final control. They say it is the sweetest thing they've ever seen. Huh. So we'll keep bumbling about. We've still got a little while to go, but we'll get there eventually. Scott, 